Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I wanted to show you a little trick that I figured out on how to get a large capacity 11.1 LiPo into your gun. Um, traditionally, it's kind of hard to get a large capacity battery into your gun. The largest that I've been able to find, like in, I'm talking about internally inside your gun, um, the largest without having to externally wire it. The largest that I've been able to find was the, I don't have it with me right now, but, or actually something like the uh, 2000 mah tri panel. I think GMP makes a 2500 mah tri panel, but it's uh, the the individual cells are so thick that they're really hard to get in a lot of the stocks. So um, omitting that as an option, uh, what what other options do we have? Well, we could externally wire it, which I've done in the past. Um, it's the easiest way to do it because you don't have to modify anything. You just buy a pouch and you slap your battery on the side. The problem is is that when you have your gun. Um, if you, especially if you're trying to do like transitions or like trying to switch like right hand into left hand, um, the, and you're trying to shoulder your gun and, you know, get a cheek weld with it, um, the battery is obviously going to get in the way because it'll be on the one side of your gun. Um, for some people that's not an issue. For me, the bigger issue that I had was that it was a lot of weight to be focused on one side of the gun, so it became um, imbalanced. It would always want to sort of tip to the right side, even though the balance, the weight was in the back, um the weight was still pulling to that one side. So instead I did this. I took a um, crane stock and I cut out the bottoms to fit two uh, 2500 mah, or tw sorry, two 2650 uh, 11 one lipos in the side saddles. This is a sort of a ru uh, trial run. It's an experiment uh, because I'm trying to figure out um, how to do this securely and a little bit more cleanly. Um, but let me just take this out and I can show you how I got them all wired up in the back. Okay, so here's the stock, and as you can see, I cut out pretty much as much as I could um, of the bottoms of the side saddles. I dremeled all the way down to where it sort of cur it sort of curves right here, and I dremeled all the way up to where the caps are at the top. I will say that the <laughs> this is maybe not the best stock to do this modification on, just because. Uh, there are certain companies like GMP where you can actually take these little knobs out and you can cut just a little bit further and you can even modify the caps just a little bit. But these are glued in and the way that they sort of stick out, I wasn't able to fully you know, cut this out as much as I wanted to. I also took the, um, the lever off just for right now just because I was doing a lot of cutting and stuff and I wanted to remove that mechanism. But after that, um, I take two 2650s. Um, I'm actually basing this modification off of an older modification I saw on the forums. I don't know if it was, I first saw it from, um, I think, Marcelo, or it might have been, so it was either Alex or uh, his tag on the forum, or it was Engel Matcher, or Mike Hivemind, or former Hivemind Airsoft owner. Um, it, I forgot who did it first, um, but I saw someone was, you know, cutting out just the one side and putting a uh, 20, and putting the battery in there because they just wanted to fit one of these inside. At the time, I didn't think of that much of it because I was like, well, if I'm going to be cutting this out, it takes less, less effort to just slap it on the side. But now that I want to run two sets of cells, um, cutting out both makes a lot of sense. So you can cut out both of these, and then you run the wires you know, through the back. I also had to cut this out to make room for the parallel adapter. Um, I got this off of Hobby King. Um, it's just basically two or three sets of uh, Dean's plugs. Um, solder together so that uh, you can run two batteries in parallel and you can either run the way that these adapters work you can either run them in parallel or you can run them in um, uh, sequence. Sequence is a different adapter but if you were to buy that one um, you could run two sets of uh, cells and then double the voltage. Um, in this case you're running two sets of cells and doubling the the, the capacity, the, the MAH, milliamp hours, da 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 da. da. Um, so that's why I wanted for this one. I 11 one is as much power as I need right now I could have gone in sequence and gotten like two seven fours and run like uh, And run it at like uh, what is that? 14.8 uh, volts, uh, but I Caring I care more about um, capacity right now than I do uh, the voltage. So what you do is you then slide one Battery up like this You sort of cram it down in stock Take another set, another battery like that, and then, oops, gotta be facing up. And then you cram it up in the stock, and then they sit about there. Um, they can't, uh, I'm pushing them all the way up right now, but they can't quite be like that, because if you look down the stock, um, you'll notice where the, the edges of the batteries will sort of get in the way of the buffer tube. If you have one of the GMP style 
uh, buffer tubes with the cutouts in the buffer tube uh, to make way for the battery or wires. This is a little bit easier, but um, for this particular one, they have to just sit a little bit lower um, to get or to avoid knocking into the buffer tube. But then after that, you then take your uh, your parallel adapter, plug them in like this. And I should also mention that the two batteries that you have to have, or it's ideal to have the two batteries that you're putting in parallel um, be a matched, you know, like the same voltage, discharge, all that sort of stuff. And then you have a plug leading out to a, uh, you know, just the one. So then you plug this in your gun, you're all set to go. Um, I miscalculated when I was soldering the wires on these. These initially come with much longer wires for the battery. They come out to about here or so. Um, and I chopped them down to about half because I thought, well, I want less wiring here. But actually, you're going to want to not chop it quite as far down um, because you're going to need that sort of space to navigate these plugs. Because the way that I did it outside, um, it doesn't account for, you know, being in the gun. Then I got to get this in here, which, you know, how short these wires are, they don't allow it to bend comfortably. So you'll need to then, well, you, what I did the first time I installed this was I plugged this in first and then plugged one side in, then plug the other side in. Um, you gotta use a fair amount of force and sort of tug on the connections, which I know is bad, but this is just the way it's set up for me right now, so I don't really have a choice. Um, but otherwise, I thought it was a pretty neat mod. Um, this is gonna be giving you roughly like 5,000 plus milliamp hours. I mean, I can't imagine you need more capacity than that. If you need more capacity than that, then just externally wired, because you're pushing something that's obviously not meant to be internally wired, and even this is kind of a stretch. But I thought this was kind of clever because a lot of people would complain that, I mean, either I want, I want, you know, a I need a tiny battery to fit inside my crappy little stock or, I, you know, I, I like having an internally wired gun, um, but I need the extra capacity to run, you know, say DSG setups, high power setups, et cetera, et cetera. Well, this will give you that option, um, making it uh, potentially, you can carry a lot more capacity than you would with even a full stock because I know that some of the full stocks the problem that they have is that they're not um, wide enough to fit um, some of the larger capacity cells. Uh, I might be wrong on that one, but I know that at least for the 11 ones, that those three sets of cells uh, generally make it at the 5,000 mile capacity, generally make it too thick to fit in. Even stocks like the Patriot stock, which I originally bought um, because I wanted to just have a simple solution to drop in. Um, batteries like the uh, uh, the Sky Lipo 4400 4, mAh just don't fit in it. Um, so I thought this was a neat option. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I'll talk to you guys later.